Hey, what's good? Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Robots with Ray Guns album called Colt Pop. I hope you enjoy. Right off the bat, the album begins with Trigger Warning, which is a great tone setter for the album. It's also a great opener. I like the bouncy production with some of the manipulated vocal samples. And I also love the alarm sample as well. Kind of gives the track like an ethereal club feeling. And the way it blends synthwave with breakbeat and EDM and other elements of that nature um, really gives you a nice taste of what you're in for and what Robots with Ray Guns really sound like. Uh, I think the refrain with the sample is fantastic with the dense keyboards in the background. Nothing to Fear it kicks off with kind of an r and sample and that's kind of the mood throughout the entire track. I like the refrain mostly. It kind of has a smooth, buttery feeling to it. And with like the blend of electronics in the background, it's just uh, it gives all like a nocturnal club vibe. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. Area 51 featuring Frank Music is a pop banger. Um, it starts off with a very atmospheric synth, followed by Frank's uh, vocal passage before it leads right into the hook. And the way the hook is introduced is with these really, really booming drums. And the lyrical theme of the track is Area 51, and like the unknowns of the earth and stuff like that. But surprisingly, it actually transformed into a very, very sweet love song later in the track. Uh, thankfully, there are no references to Naruto running or clapping alien cheeks, but... Uh, Frank Music's performance is fantastic. He's very stoic yet emotive at the same time. And the track constantly elevates itself with like how the drums are layered and how the uh, instrumental progresses. And the outro to this thing is great too. Dynamite featuring TT the Artist starts off with some very shiny keyboards and some smooth drums. And it really gives off this nice futuristic club vibe. It sounds like something off of Lone's uh, Galaxy Garden. If you haven't heard anything from that album, I highly recommend that one. Um, but the primary vocal sample is fantastic. I love how all the sound is compacted into this very enjoyable package. I think TT gives off a solid performance. I, I, I think her vocals are mixed a bit weirdly, like she stands out a bit too much. But other than that, I feel like the primary mix of Vaporwave and Hip Hop is beautiful on this track. It's Bubblegum featuring Dame is another good track. Um, once again, the production steals the show. It's primarily a mix of EDM with some like soulful hip hop slash R and B elements to it. I think once again the sample work is impeccable. However, I feel like the guest performance is a it, it's okay. It doesn't really steal the show, and the refrain kind of gets in the way of the song. But thankfully, it's only sung once, like before the halfway part of the track. Where after that point, the instrumental just shines. Um, yeah, I, I think the vocal sampling with the drum machines is beautiful as well. I like how they're differently pitched and kind of construed to give each sample a unique sense of belonging in the track. Follow Me is yet again another great track on the album. Uh, this one is a bit different though. It has a very unique sense of like sweetness to it. Um, the production is very somber, but it also it's still very punchy, but... There's a lot more going on in the background that helps the sample kind of shine here. And the way the sa sample is like utilized, it's very pitched down. It almost sounds like a giant that doesn't know any languages trying to express love in any any sound he can make. It's, it's truly unique, and I think it's uh, a very, very standout track. Planes of Mind featuring Thought Beings is another standout track for me. Now, this one has a very, very unique, like, virtual, retro, futuristic feel to it. The pulsating synth tones, the booming drums. Like, it, it sounds like it's a futuristic version of what the 80s sounded like. And beyond that, what really, really steals the show for me on this track is Thought Being's performance. It is powerful. It's super memorable. It sounds like a boy band track, but, like, in the best way possible. It's, it's amazing. Uh, Touch Me featuring Dream Shores is it's an okay track for me. I think the production here is pretty good. I like the hip hop flavor and with the dense electronics and some of the hype man vocals like yeah, woo yeah. But the vocal guest Dream Shores I'm referencing is 
pretty underwhelming. Uh, I feel like they don't actually contribute much to the track. Um, even the refrain um, gets a bit annoying after the second time around, but even with that said, I do appreciate how the vocals are kind of transformed to be part of the instrumental rather than trying to be like an additional sweetener, if you will, on the track. Pop Life is another great track on here. Uh, it's a Prince cover, so you know you got a pretty high standard already to meet up to. But I feel like both artists do a very good job of kind of creating this new version of it for people to enjoy. I think Carl Groshon's vocals are pretty great. However, I don't feel like he's emulating Prince as much as I think he's trying to sound like James Murphy from LCD Sound System. But even with that said, I think his performance is still great. Um, I like, or I love the beat actually, I like how bubbly it is, I like some of the heavily prominent electronics, some of the fluttering synths in the background, and the drum machines that, per usual, are, are great. And it's very similar, or it gives me a very similar feeling to Sunset Neon cover of KISS, where it kind of enhances and yet modernizes the track for current audiences. It's on the next track, Body Shake, uh, it's a synth wave club banger, essentially. It has a lot of bouncy synths. Um, I think there's some electric riffs on the undertones there, and uh, what really draws me to this track is I love the foreign flavor of it. Like, the way the vocals are manipulated to have this nice, like, kind of Arabian sound to it. It's uh, It really complements the track a lot. And the other thing that really makes this track shine for me is how the samples come together at the very end of the track to give you this grand outro it's just an explosion of sound it blossoms into such a beautiful track do it right featuring dubsy is another great one uh now at first i wasn't a big fan of it mostly because i thought i thought at first the vocals just didn't fit the track but upon my second uh listen of the track I really came to love it. It grew on me quite a bit, mostly because I feel like the theme of the track about doing things differently for someone uh, that you love or accepting their differences or their uh, their miscomings and stuff like that, I think it enhances his performance much more. And um, that being said, I think the refrain is it's very sticky, it's a very, very moving, and it's also surprisingly sweet. And it's kind of enhanced by these semi-harsh electronics during the refrain as well as like the soft choral samples kind of hidden in the mix robocop 2 is a bop the production on here is an incredible mix of club breakbeat vaporwave and hip-hop the sampling is incredible like on the refrain as well um i love kind of the swaggery call me robocop and what helps it is that the ad-libs on the refrain are great too, right before it hits its central groove. It's insanely infectious, and it's the high point of the album for me. Introvert's Anthem featuring Caswell is kind of an okay track for me. Really, the only thing I like on this track is, once again, the production. I kind of like how boomy and wavy it is. That being said, I don't think Caswell's vocal performance is good. Um, the song topic of being an introvert, it's not inherently bad, but the performance does not sell me on it. And the lyrics on here can be really, really cringy, like the line, sitting at home watching Game of Thrones, or uh, being at home playing Xbox. Like, it could be funny, but it's not. It, it just hurts to listen to. The hook is awful as well. Um, it just sounds like the production is doing everything it can to save the track, and that's that's the only reason I really can say I don't hate the track. Birds of Prey, once again featuring Thought Beings, is a fantastic synth ballad mixing with elements of breakbeat and club. And once again, the vocal performance is great. Like, it's very powerful and it's elevated by how great the groove is. Um, and it's also really, really well sung. Like, you feel the vocal chords when you hear the hook on here. And the way the track dynamically progresses, every time the refrain is sung, it sounds like it gets bigger and bigger. Definitely one of my favorites. Illuminati Beat is a closer on the album, and it is fantastic. Um, it starts off with some very loud, noisy electronics. Pr pretty harsh, sounds like almost industrial-like. Before it moves on to this like futuristic dance hall anthem. 
Um, it has a very interesting pace to it too. Like sometimes, most of the times, the song is loud, but I like the little interludes where the song will be a bit, bit softer before it just explodes again. The groove on here is great. Um, once again, as I mentioned before, I think having the industrial edge to it is something that satisfies something I like listening to. So for me personally, it's a great closer to a fantastic album. Overall, I think it's a very, very fun album. I've been a long time fan of Robots with Ray Guns, and I usually think this is his best work. A lot of the ideas are very well fleshed out. Um, nothing sounds like it's wasted on the album, uh, production-wise, I mean. And I think the blending of all these genres really gives him, or Robots with Ray Guns, a unique sound that really I feel like no other artist currently has, or no artist that I'm familiar with currently has. Um, it only got better on my second listen. Uh, like the spark that was there the first time was still there the second time. And all that being said, I'm giving this album a 9 out of 10.